Hey, what's up guys? I'm Justin with CBI and Prinsu. Today we're working on a fifth gen 4Runner. We're gonna install a ladder. Stay tuned for the install. We'll show you how to do it. Okay, so we're at the back of the vehicle. We have our um, top plate here. So what we're gonna do is um, set this in place and kind of understand exactly where our ladder's gonna go. So we'll set it down here and then we're gonna measure over four inches and that's where we're putting ours. So we did engineer some tolerances. You have about an inch to either side that you can shift it around, but for the uh, installation video, we're going with four inches. So we have our four inch mark. Now um, you can see I've applied this green tape and this is solely just to protect the vehicle from scratches during the installation process. So once you get your four inch mark, get it taped, then we can go to the floor and start assembling the ladder. All right, so we're down here on the floor. We got all our pieces laid out. I went ahead and loosely installed one rung. Uh, we're gonna do the, do the same with this one about midway. Just make sure you keep your square cutouts facing up for the carriage bolts. Um, so we're gonna get these two installed. We're gonna get our uh, top plate installed loosely. Um, then we're gonna take our 3M tape, put it on our top plate, then go to the vehicle. All right, so we got our larger bolts in the kit. I've already put this one in just to hold it in place to show you, but we have our washer, slide it on, and then we're gonna find the hole on this side and get this one loosely installed as well. All right, so we got the ladder loosely assembled. Now we're gonna take our top plate that we had on top of the vehicle and we're gonna get our 3M tape applied to the backside here. So just make sure that um, you even these out. We're gonna use four of these squares um, and just observe the hook here. Uh, we're gonna apply to the same side where the hook goes up. So we'll go ahead and stick these on. All right, so just as an extra precaution, I'm gonna go ahead and tape up this uh, moving blanket on the back. If you have an extra guy, he can kind of hold the bottom of the ladder while you work on top. Um, we're kind of doing it solo here, so we're gonna just tape this up on the window just so the ladder rungs don't uh, scratch up the lift gate. Okay, so we're back up top. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get our top plate applied down to the vehicle. So we're gonna peel back these um, other sticky backs here on the 3M tape, get our carriage bolts um, in place, and then we'll get this guy locked into place. So just keep in mind, uh, make sure you're on your four inch mark so that everything stays true on the way down. You'll be good to go. Flip this guy over, make sure the hook is set carriage bolts in place. And come right down. And we're gonna make sure that this is firmly pressed in place. All right, one last thing. We're gonna slap on these uh, rubber pieces. Just peel the backing. And they're gonna go on the inside of the ladder rails on both sides. All right, so we got our rubber um, pieces installed on the inside of these rails. So let's go ahead and slide these over our carriage bolts and we'll get our nuts started. We're not gonna tighten it down just yet, just start them. So our next step is we're gonna take our second rubber piece. This one's kind of longer, not quite as thick as the other two up there. And we're just gonna place it on a firm surface with a straight edge and just take a knife and just kind of score the back of it. Um, simply just so we can get it in this tight angle um, of our bottom plate, just so we protect where this makes contact with the vehicle. So 
with that score and it just fits in there a lot tighter, you get a lot more protection. We'll go ahead and get this cut. All right, so now we are gonna take our blanket off, get that out of the way, and then we're gonna slide our bottom plate uh, in place. We're gonna loosely assemble it on each side with our larger hardware, uh, bolt, washer, and nut, two, or one on each side, and then we'll be able to mark and drill. Okay, so we got these bolts uh, loosely installed. We went ahead and stood back from the vehicle, get your alignment, make sure the ladder is straight. Um, we can revisit that soon, but it's best when you tighten these up just to have it pretty close to where it's gonna permanently sit um, in place. So we're gonna use a half inch uh, wrench inside here to hold the nut and a half inch socket to tighten it. So we'll tighten these bottom two and the top two. Okay, so we double check our alignment, make sure we're straight, and then we're gonna raise this lift gate up a little bit. Just make sure before you mark these holes to drill that you're pushing up good um, into the corner of the vehicle just to make sure it's gonna sit right uh, when we get it bolted. And then we're gonna mark the entire hole here, not just a dot. We wanna know exactly how big the hole is and where the center's at. So mark the entire hole, then we'll undo this guy again and then get our drill going. Okay, so we got everything marked. We're gonna take these bolts out up here. So then we can remove the ladder. We can get our tape out of the way, get everything drilled and then reassembled. Okay, now we're gonna drill our holes. We wanna remove this uh, factory kind of plastic cap. Just make sure there's no wiring um, behind here. On our model, there's nothing there, so you shouldn't have to worry, but just double check it on yours. And then we're gonna start out with an eighth inch drill bit as a pilot, and then we'll ultimately end up at a three eighths drill bit just to allow um, a little bit of play in our holes to get everything to line up. Also, just so we don't have any rust issues back here, we're gonna take a paint pen and just color in the inside um, of our hole where we drilled, just so there's no better metal in the equation. All right, now with this plug removed, we're gonna slide in um, our rail here. Once we get our holes lined up, get these bolts started and then tighten down. Okay, so we got the bottom tightened up. Now we're gonna drop a uh, washer over each bolt. We're gonna kind of slide our hand underneath. We'll be able to hold um, the carriage bolt into its slot. We'll tighten these guys down.
Okay, so our last step is we're gonna install our final uh, remaining two rungs. Um, this is our coworker's truck actually, so we're gonna put them all up top so he can't even use this ladder, but you'll probably wanna install yours to kind of where it makes sense. So we'll go ahead and get these installed. All right, guys, thanks for watching today's install tutorial of the ladder on the fifth generation 4Runner. Uh, we went ahead and put the rungs back. We kind of felt bad for our buddy, so we'll have to get him back on the next one. But as always, like and subscribe and check out our YouTube channel. We got tons of weekly cool stuff showing up. Other than installs, we actually get out and do cool stuff, so check it out.